Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use the Design Space Exploration Block to perform design of experiment studies in P7. In the first part, we will start with general idea of design exploration. Here, design of experiment approach of DSX block will be considered in details. Then, we will switch to the demo case and learn how to generate a data sample using design exploration in P7. Let's begin with the introduction. DSX block enables various design exploration studies. In this video, we will focus on the task related to generating designs of experiments and collecting response samples from a model, which evaluates these designs. For example, generate a data sample with specific properties, like an optimized Latin hypercube sample or a design suited for response surface building. Update an existing data sample by adding more design points while preserving the sample's properties. Generate a design of experiments, which, in addition to the bounds of design variables, is subject to some functional constraints. During design generation, communicate with a computational model and use its response values to obtain a data sample optimized for a more accurate training of the approximation models. DSX solves a variety of design exploration tasks using design of experiments and optimization methods. Depending on the setup, Block might act as an optimizer or run a pure design of experiment study. There are two typical configurations for a design exploration block in a workflow. The first one, sample generator, configuration which is not required a black box for evaluation of model responses. In this case, we obtain a sample of points in design space for further usage. The second one, black box sampling, configuration where you describe design variables and responses from a simulation model. This configuration requires connecting design space exploration block to other blocks that evaluate model responses, the black boxes. The design space exploration block supports the smart selection technology, which automatically selects the best approach based on the setup of your design task. Smart selection is not a method, but a way to set up the block based on the problem formulation. Design of experiments plan is a set of points with different model input variables x values at which responses y are measured to achieve specific goals. Explore design space using as small number of observations as possible. Get as much information as possible about the model behavior. Measure output sensitivity, variability, and other characteristics. Generate a training sample for building an approximation model for further usage. In P7, we also have Adaptive Design of Experiments technique. Adaptive Design technique is a point generation method based on approximation models, which are internally trained and updated by the block while generating new designs. The Adaptive Design technique solves several specific tasks. Generation of points only in the feasible domain defined by functional constraints. Response exploration. Generating a non-uniform sample in the feasible domain for better representation of the particular model's output. And contour restoration. Generating a non-uniform sample in the feasible domain for the given value of a response function. Problem statements can have various dimensionality, number of responses and constraints, noises in responses, etc. And the available number of model computations is often limited. To explore such models faster and effectively, P7 offers an advanced tool for design of experiments, graphical user interface that allows easy setup of the problem, wide range of techniques for any type of sampling, smart selection technique to choose the most suitable technique based on the problem statement, full compatibility with other tools for design exploration, flexible configuration of the block even during runtime to enable studies with nested workflow logic. P7 provides a wide range of design of experiments and optimization methods. It allows efficient solving of engineering problems, combining strategies and switching between methods. Problem solving strategy is formed automatically with the help of the smart selection technology provided by P7. The role of smart selection is that it performs problem analysis and decomposition. In most cases, forming auxiliary subproblems for efficient solving. Smart Selection then finds the best solver for each of the subproblems and manages solver interactions in the process. Thus, often it cannot be said that a single specific method was used to solve a problem. Since the power of Smart Selection comes from the ability to combine and meld different methods. 
Smart selection is based on number of variables in their type, number of responses in their type, and can be tuned with various hints, options. Let's consider the capabilities of design exploration for design of experiments task in the following example. We will generate a training data sample for further building of an approximation model to predict mass, displacement, and stress of high-speed rotating disk. Disk geometry is described by four radii, R1, R2, R3, R4, and two thicknesses, T1 and T3. Disk rotation rate can be 10,000 rotations per minute or 15,000 rotations per minute to describe the operation regime. Approximation model building will be in details considered in other video. Now let's see how to use design exploration as design of experiment in P7. If we want to get only variables values, only DSX block is needed. In our example, we want to generate a data sample based on simulation model for further approximation model building and it means the responses values have to be in the sample. In this case, DSX block becomes a tool for performing computational experiments according to the generated design. Together, the variables and responses describe the inputs and outputs of some computational model. However, the design space exploration block does not define or evaluate this model. It has to be connected with another block, which evaluates model outputs. The sample generation configuration consists of the following steps. Add design variables and responses if necessary, and specify their properties. Set the number of designs or rely on the auto setting. Select the generation technique or let smart selection do it for you. Specify hints if necessary. We will start with opening the DSX block. We have six variables. To add variables, click the plus button or select add variables from the pane's context menu. This command brings up the Add Variables dialog where we can name our variables and specify their properties. Variables name and settings can later be edited on the Variables pane. Design space exploration supports three types of variables, continuous, discrete, and categorical. The first type is continuous dependent of responses and defined by bounds. Discrete type is dependent of responses, however, defined by levels and categorical variables have no trend, only combinatorial exploration. Besides the continuous design variables for geometry, let's add the rotation rate as categorical variable. Categorical variables require to set up levels, not bounds. Values of the categorical variable must be set in levels, for rotating disk, there are 10,000 and 15,000 rotations per minute. The design of experiments plan will be performed for each of categorical variables, and the results will then be combined automatically. We have three responses. Since we are interested in pretty standard uniform design of experiments, we leave the default function type for the responses, which is evaluation. Evaluation type tells the block that we want only to collect these responses to a final sample, not to treat them as constraints or objectives. The number of designs is auto by default. We can see the number with the help of tooltips and is 240. The expression looks as follows, where nc is the number of continuous variables, and in our case nc is 6, nd is the number of categorical variables, and in our case nc is 2. Let's set, for example, the rotation rate as a constant value equal to 10,000. The number of designs in this case becomes 120. We will use a 200-point uniform design of experiment plan for further applications. Let's delete the categorical variable. By default, smart selection is enabled. For this type of setup, Latin hypercube method is automatically selected. If we change a response type to constraint, adaptive design of experiments will be automatically proposed. We can also specify another technique if necessary. We can specify generation options depending on method. They are available in configure technique. Now let's return the response type to evaluation and leave smart selection technology. Hints can be set additionally. 
They're useful for optimization studies and will be considered in the next video. The Run Options pane shows general block options, the batch size or allowed number of CPUs. Now let's click OK button. Composite Block Rotating Disk is a computational model, which is a system of ordinary differential equations defining the stress-strain behavior of the disk. Sample generated in DSX block is an input for the model. Rotating Disk Model receives the input sample, evaluates model functions, and outputs a response sample. With the help of CSV Generator, we can save the data sample in external CSV file. Let's run the workflow. After the process is completed, let's check the result. We can see the generated data sample, which consists of input parameters columns and columns of outputs. This data sample will be used for building an approximation model in other video. That's it. Thanks for your attention, and goodbye.